Meet Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss. You might have heard of them, especially if you've seen The Social Network. The movie documents the twin brothers dispute with Mark Zuckerberg over who founded Facebook. By the way, how many how many supposed to tell the difference between you guys? <laughs> I'm left-handed, he's right-handed. Is, is, is that the only thing? Uh, might be. <laughs> the film also captures their rowing accomplishments. They ended up heading to the Beijing Games, where they finished sixth in the pairs competition. I wanted a taste of Olympic-level rowing, so I decided to reach out for some star power and enlist their expertise to teach me how to row. Hey, Mr. Cameron, hey. I'm Stu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're going to be uh, my rowing coach today? Uh, I guess I'm playing coach, yeah. <laughs> How hard can it be? Oops. Almost. Uh, yeah. I'm really terrified of, of uh, falling, but You'll uh, be I'll perfectly try. fine. I met them at the Peter J. Sharp Boathouse on the Harlem River in New York. There, I realized that I don't quite look like a rower. I'm looking at you guys right now, and I don't seem to be, you know, I don't seem like a rower. Do, do I have the, the, the body type that fits one? You could be a lightweight rower. I could be a lightweight rower? Yeah. Okay. How, 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 how heavy are you? I'm 150. Perfect. You're right on the edge. We first warmed up on an indoor rowing machine, or an erg. And you drive with your legs, back, arms, arms away, walk over, yeah, legs, yeah, good, you're natural. It turns out that rowing is not all arms. I mean, it's basically legs, your back's bracing the leg drive, um, and the arms really just finish off the end of the strokes. My form wasn't too bad, so they had me kick it up a notch. Ooh! <laughs> Considering I wasn't even on the water yet, this was a good sign. Will you be up for a 10-stroke race? Let's see 10 how stroke much. 10-stroke race? Oh. Right. <laughs> we simulated a 100-meter competition. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go easy on you, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> Attention, go. You beat me by a lot. Are we done? <laughs> yeah, there. Ten more meters. All right, you're done. <laughs> you look fresh as a daisy. <laughs> Good work. Having demonstrated my mastery of the erg, it was time to head to the water. Tyler and I grabbed a double sculling boat, which must have weighed no more than 50 pounds. This thing is way skinnier than I thought it was. Um, so here's the thing, I can't swim. What are the odds of this tipping over while we're in the water? With you in it, uh, they're better than with me. <laughs> Your odds just went up dramatically. Um, a big mistake you definitely never want to make is not tightening these. Uh -huh. Because as soon as your blade hits the water, you're gone. And then once you lose your oars, you're probably going for a swim. <laughs> After locking in the oars, it was time to get in. Now, if I wasn't so nice to, I could jiggle it and you might <laughs> take a dive. I'm but. glad you guys are, uh, I'm going to the camera's rolling. After Tyler assured me that he'd do his best to keep me dry, we launched. We started easy, okay. with me rowing with the oar perpendicular to the water. The tricky part was making sure the oars didn't slap the water after I finished the stroke. It's really hard to lift them up. Otherwise, I'd clip the surface, which would slow us down and could even cause us to capsize. I got a little bit better at that, so I graduated to a more advanced technique called feathering. Now, after a stroke, I had to twist the oars so that they would be parallel to the water while I pulled them back for the next stroke. Boop. Well, uh, all right, here we go. I wasn't good at that either. It didn't help that we were in shallow, muddy water. Oh, I think I caught, oh, I definitely caught butt of that. After doing that a couple times, the twins told me not to worry too much about it and just row as fast as I could. Ooh, caught. All right, here we go. Um, how do I, uh, my arms got stuck by my body. All right, guys, let's spin it and bring it into the dock. All right, do, do we win? <laughs> we made it back to the dock dry and the Winklevi they don't mind the nickname, gave me some hope that I did have an Olympic future. I think 2016 is a little close, <laughs> but if you really work hard at it and put your mind to it, maybe 2020, I don't know. <laughs> Cameron? Well, there's a great master circuit out there, <laughs> and uh, if you want to row lightweight, I think that's a good option. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. <laughs> All right, All right rowing with uh, Cameron and Tyler Wilkabas. Thank you guys. For the Wall Street Journal in New York, I'm oh, Stu Wu. Oh, cool. That's kind of fun. <laughs>